Time for rock news on 1011 WJRR, Orlando's rock station. Let's check in with Lynch and Taco and see which rockers are making the headlines for all the right and wrong reasons. 1011 WJRR. All right, rock news brought to you by our Tuesday ticket takeover happening at 1011 WJRR on the JR Instagram. Knocked loose tickets up for grabs for their Orlando show. If uh, you want to try to grab a pair of those, we've got multiple that will be given out to you listener today jrr instagram it's at 1011 wjrr okay um it was 2009 in paris france that oasis performed their last show before uh noel and liam gallagher had a a parting of ways a disagreement a fiery eruption they literally wanted to kill each other backstage after this show and that was it for oasis did they have a fist fight they they, these two have yeah it it has not been nice over the last 15 years or so uh that said all the drama that goes with uh those two uh you cannot argue that oasis cannot argue that they are one of britain's most important bands in the last 30 years there's no two ways about it put out good music yeah Uh, i agree um they have smoothed everything over and announced this morning they will be back performing in front of live audiences uh, this next summer, starting with 14 shows in the U.K. and Ireland. These will all be stadium-type shows. And then uh, plans are to bring these live dates to other uh, countries around the world in 2025. If they can get along that well for the second if they want to uh, walk into the bank with fat stacks, they'll get along. Exactly. Did they uh, credit the Black Crows at all? <laughs> no. Well, I mean, the Black no. Crows, same thing. They weren't no, getting they, along. They, now they are. Robinson Brothers. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's... The, it's we brothers. both have brothers. We yeah. know. And you, if you have a brother, you know, it's... But, so it... They got there. They smoothed it over. And there you go. That's what we got at this point. Uh, Lincoln Park has got some sort sort of uh, hundred hour countdown timer going on their uh, socials and website that will uh, zero out tomorrow. Now, there's all sorts of speculation what's going on here. Hardcore Lincoln Park fans believe they're uh, getting set to announce a new vocalist to replace late lead singer Chester Bennington. Um, many of whom think it's Derek Wibley of Some Forty One. You're saying that's a rumor. I, I'm not convinced of that. I think th- the hype around Derek was around this uh, this walking disaster, my life through heaven and hell book tour that he just announced, which uh, closely coincided with this Linkin Park thing. But his vocal qualities, I could see him pulling off some of those old Linkin Park tunes. So I'm not going to completely poo-poo on that idea. Okay. So we'll see when that thing zeroes out on Wednesday. What what their announcement is? I just feel bad for those guys that have to tour with both bands, like what you would call it from uh, from Soil, doing Drowning Pool. You know, well again, there's there, know, if it did happen, and there's let's cross that bridge when we get to it. That's that's the rumors that are out there. We'll I assume have more uh, info tomorrow. Something that's not a rumor is that we have some 41 tickets coming up shortly on the show. That is a fact, Jack, or oh. in your case, Taco. Uh, Tom Petty's estate also running a countdown, which will end on Friday. They're promising uh, loyal Tom Petty and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers fans. This is going to be something that they will find very special to look forward to. Don't know what that is. We'll find out together on Friday. Slipknot's Sid Wilson was hospitalized with serious burns after uh, a burn pit blew up in his face at the farm. Uh, he and Kelly Osborne. Uh, own and live at. Uh, he I always forget that they're married. Found himself in the hospital with a burn pile went up in his face and uh, he's like, man, you know, he looks, you know, I'll be okay by the time uh, the band's ready to resume touring in, in September. You wear a mask anyway. What's the biggie? Good point. Good point. Uh, speaking of fires, Burning Man has uh, started. Uh, not sold out this year, by the way. It, it, I heard it was rainy as could be. Wasn't it like flooded out or something? I don't know. This year, I think last year they had some issues with it. Uh, um, person died on the first day of Burning Man on Sunday morning. Woman couldn't be revived. Uh, there's been multiple deaths at this festival in Nevada. Um over the years since 1996, including that of a 32-year-old man last year who died of suspected drug intoxication. At least seven have died at this festival. 
Doesn't that sound like a fun thing to go to? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow at 7-Eleven stores across the country, you'll find an additional coffee offering if uh, you like Green Day's coffee brand, Punk Bunny Coffee, uh, a partnership with 7-Eleven and their, subs- their uh, Speedway and Stripes, which they also own, for a limited time, will be offering this uh, Green Day blend of coffee. Uh, update on Lou Kohler. He's the uh, singer for uh, uh, hardcore legends out of New York City. Sick of it all. Told you he had um, esophageal cancer. Mm-hmm. He's uh, started his first round of chemo and, uh, you know, saying, hey, everybody, it's Lou. I'm here with, in the recovery room. Hope you're all doing good. Give you a little update. The first week of chemo uh, was almost two weeks ago. It's like a week and a half since I've had it. And the first three days were brutal, not fun at all. It got b- gradually better, and now I feel more like myself. I'm going to try to stay in good spirits here. So Good. Keep those good spirits, dude. Uh, Metallica's All Within My Hands Foundation has received a financial grant um, for their uh, for the love of labor from Carhartt's. You know, Carhartt's uh, clothing, mm-hmm. uh, work clothing. Some of the, I own a ton of Carhartt. I love their stuff. It's indestructible. Yeah, you're a big fan. You can wash it a million times, and it uh, doesn't lose. Um, anyway, it's it's work clothing and uh, apparel. They are uh, granting Metallica's foundation money uh, to fu- uh, get into some of the you know these scholarship programs that Metallica does specifically for trade schools. Tra- Very uh, skilled cool. trade schools. So that's what we need, man. Scholarships becoming available through Carhartt and Metallica's foundation. Uh, a day to remember, announcing a fall North American tour. There are a couple dates in Florida. They already zoomed through Orlando earlier, so uh, Jacksonville and Hollywood will be getting shows on November 9th and 10th. Is he the one that we tripped out about the flight? Or was that no. it no. was Rise Against, wasn't it? No. <laughs> no. Neither. Okay. Neither. You remember the band? I Off the top of my head, yeah. no, but I know it, it was Seether, I believe. No, I wasn't. I'd know Seether's big uh, partying guy. It wasn't him. Remember, it's a really straight lace. It's one of those bands that I was confused, like Rise Against or one of them. Okay, anyway, there's your rock news for this morning. Thanks, Taco. On JRR.